Bamamina, which is a she. In this video, I'm going to follow this tutorial from Mary Bang. It's called Creating an Enchanting Artwork. And I'm going to put the link in the description box below. First step is to create a new file and change the paper size to A4. Leave the rest of it and click OK when you're done. I started doing DigiArt with phone and finger so I don't really know how to use Medibank PC. Thankfully there are tutorials and tips on the lowest part of the Medibank app. Next step is to prepare your layers which is just at the right part of the Medibank. Now on to the sketching. I have never done this to my art before because I normally do Bacart where I turn people into anime. <laughs> I've done sketches when I first got this tablet literally just to introduce myself to the feeling of drawing my tablet and to the interface. Phone and PC are so different but no matter where, Medibank is still my comfy app. Going back to the sketching, there's a massive space on her chest. I was originally planning to make her seem like she's praying, but hands are so difficult, so I just turned it into boobs. And the instruction or tutorial suggested to turn the layer into 20 opacity. Moving on to the line art, which is probably the hardest part, I noticed that they used other color, which is like brown and peach so I tried to get my own color of that. They also mentioned the brushes that they used which was new to me because all I used before was pens. I drew this April 2021. Back then I didn't know about clipping, I didn't know about line correction. So this is an example of clipping where you color inside a line or inside another color. It is normally done by adding a new layer above the line layer that you want to color and clip the upper layer to the lower layer. Me, I recommend you to subscribe to Day as well if you want to know how to make line art easier. After doing this art, I dedicated my time to keep on watching tutorials and one of the mistakes that I have reflected on was zooming in too much, you know, just like what I'm doing right now. And another realization that I ignored while doing this was that I draw the line too much. I should have just drawn one line, but I drew multiple lines. I was struggling to make my line art neater, but because of that, it became dirtier. It's also recommended to use references. It would greatly enhance your artwork. Another tip that I learned was to stylize your outline, like thickening the points, curved edges, such as the chin, cheeks, and other curved lines. And of course, flipping your canvas. Instead of erasing the ear, perhaps, you could use the lasso tool to move the part that you want to move. Moving on to the hair outline, I started off with the bangs. It may not seem like it, but I repeated and repeated the bangs. I think it was the hardest part of the hair. I just can't be satisfied with the bangs. Should I use thick or thin pen? I don't know. But I think I enlarged it with 2 pixel. Sadly, my Autica friend only sent me Bang's tutorial after I finished the art, after I posted the art. It was photos from Facebook. Hopefully, I could still find the link so that I could put it in the description box below and come back to this video every time I need to see it again. After being satisfied with the hair, I jumped onto the eyes. I wanted her to look like me and I have um, like dull big eyes, you know? So that's just kind of a hint on how I look like I are up. Though I post all my Ningen form on IG, <laughs> so you're free to see that anytime. Anyways, I'm done with the eye. It's time to move to the 
lip, but I noticed that it was kind of unproportional, so I used this medical line to make the face line, and then I moved on to the body, the neck, and the shoulders, and the boobs to define the outlines. I also defined the outline on the hair, and added a little pin. Again, this is the best part to apply clipping, but... I didn't know it back then, so it turned out pretty ugly. <laughs> After being satisfied with the outline, I moved on to the next step. We are finally coloring the skin. I used the skin tone of his artwork as a color palette for my own. They didn't show the step-by-step -step process whether they colored the inner first or the outer first, so for me, I think they color the outer first going in. So what I did is base then dark to light or base, shadow, blush, then highlights or the lighter parts. I don't know if that's the correct way of doing it but that's how I judged it based on the photo that they show. So I wanted to make her look healthy and know me so the, I put the blush under the eye and on the nose and on the chin. One tip that I remember when I watched a YouTube tutorial about coloring digital arts um, is you mustn't use pen or airbrush all the time. It's preferable to use solid brushes like watercolor or square brush or trapezoid brush, I don't know, and just lower the opacity for blending. I don't know what makes it better, but that's what they said. But I don't know if I'm gonna follow that or not. <laughs> I think watercolor brush is enough. When I was doing art on the phone, I prefer outline more than coloring. But on PC, coloring was more fun than outline. Time to color the eyes and then giving her blue ones. Damn, look at those eyes. That's pure talent, bro. I can do that. This, this is all I can do. So I took a break from the eye part and my other friend gave me a reference for the boobs and look at the difference from before and after boobs. This was so much better, but I forgot to record that part. Thank you so much for this wonderful reference. It's such a big help. And subscribe to this channel. It also has a YouTube channel. It's got streaming music, anime, and games. Subscribe to Brainers now. Anyways, I then colored the hair pink because this was actually inspired by the very few cosplay stuffs that I own. Because this is supposed to be a very short painting, but I never expected it to be this long. And they never intended to. Anyways, I colored the hair the same way I colored the body. I colored the base first, then I went for the light shadows, then light highlights, then darker shadows, then lighter highlights. I don't have a specific light or source of light to follow so I just did a the most normal or the most default source of light. And I forgot to mention that I don't separate the layers for shadows and highlights anymore because I felt like it's more of a painting feeling when you just mix everything on one layer and just blend it all, all together. We're now finally going back to the eye and I found a very nice reference from Google. I think it's a thumbnail from a YouTube video. I'm going to look for that. But um, it's a Clip Studio tutorial of eyes, I think, but it's super, super pretty and I kind of want to copy but you know paraphrase it and do it the way that I, that I can. I didn't watch the tutorial I just wanted to do my own because I felt like I wanted to explore on how to do that kind of eye by my own style or by my own way. Unlike the hair and body I separated the layers of the eyes. I separated 
the pupil layer because it's supposed to be untouchable. I separated the iris because that's where I blend the colors. I separated the tiny dots and tiny highlight dots and the light reflections because they are not supposed to blend with the color. They are supposed to be kind of solid, which was a really good choice because later I found out that the pupil wasn't proportional. I know I'm copying too much, but look at his eyes. That's just so pretty. And someone on TikTok was actually very good at painting said, the secret to being a good artist is copying a good artist. So it's not bad to copy. It's actually really good and recommended. So I'm pretty much wrapping up here and don't forget to zoom out all the way and check for all the lack of light and lack of shadows and highlights. I wish it could have added more story to it, like a fantasy background or fantasy forest and lights. But um, again, the purpose of this was just to um, practice myself and to learn from the pros. Um, this might mean that this is my first original character. <laughs> Check out the artwork on my IG and probably gonna post it on Twitter. And to sum up all the tips, here they are. Da dun dun da dun! Da dun dun da dun! You go!
Hi, Dekka. Follow me on Twitter, name, Instagram, Christina R. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.